Coming up on Around Kern County, we're celebrating the grand opening of our new coroner's facility. And Public Health wants to help you beat the heat. We're sharing how to stay cool this summer when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Triolo. We're kicking off this week's show by celebrating a major accomplishment decades in the making. The Kern County Sheriff's Office celebrated the grand opening of their new coroner's facility and public administration building located in Northwest Bakersfield. This resource hub will now provide our community with a centralized location for vital services such as the coroner, property room, public administration, and internal affairs. This state-of-the-art facility is one of the best in California, giving our residents a level of service and excellence that they deserve. Meeting the needs of the community has only become more complex, yet we work daily in the field and in the office to serve everyone. This is truly a tremendous day for our office, but it will also help us to better serve the population we serve in a more efficient manner. We're thrilled to continue to provide our residents with this compassionate care even faster and more efficiently. With the weather heating up, Kern County Public Health wants to make sure we stay safe, especially during this week's heat wave. As temperatures are on the rise, Public Health says it's important to be proactive when it comes to beating the heat. Here are a few tips. Drink plenty of water, even if you're not thirsty, and avoid drinks that contain caffeine, alcohol, or large amounts of sugar. Avoid outdoor physical activity during the hottest parts of the day, and wear a wide-brimmed hat to cover the face and neck, as well as loose-fitting clothing. Regularly check on any older relatives or friends who live alone. Many may be on medications, which increase the likelihood of dehydration and never leave infants, children, older adults, or pets in a parked car. It can take as little as 10 minutes for the temperature inside of the car to rise to levels that can be deadly. Public Health wants to make sure our residents know what to do to stay cool. If you're gonna be outside for any length of time, start hydrating before you go outside and continue to hydrate while you're outside. Understand that they need, they need to be getting out of the heat if they start to experience any of the symptoms of any of these uh, heat-related illnesses. Well, if they become nauseous, that's a sign of heat exhaustion initially. They can take care of that if they get out of the heat, get into a cool place, and they start sipping on water. They can cool their body down with um, cold packs, um, a washcloth in cold water. Um, if they start to stop sweating, they start getting disoriented or dizzy, that's when they need to visit an emergency room quickly. For more information on heat safety tips, please visit kernpublichealth.com. And another way to beat the heat is visiting one of our free Kern County cooling centers, which are officially open for the summer. As temperatures rise, you can beat the heat in a location near you. During these warmer months, cooling centers provide a safe haven for people at risk of extreme heat. They're run by Kern County General Services and our Department of Aging and Adult Services in partnership with PG&E. Cooling centers are open from one in the afternoon until eight in the evenings if temperatures reach a certain thresholds across our county. If you're heading out to one of these open locations, be sure to bring snacks, games, and books. To access our cooling center dashboard, which is updated daily, please visit our website at kerncounty.com. The Kern County Library is celebrating 10 years of an amazing program making a real difference in our community. Anna Marie Odo has more. Right now, kids ages two to 18 years old can join their local library for lunch and an outstanding summer program. Lunch at the library supports local children by giving them a safe space to beat the heat and to enjoy a free lunch while school is out for the summer. This resource is being offered at all countywide branch locations across Bakersfield, Arvin, Delano, the Kern River Valley, Lamont, McFarland, Ridgecrest, Rosamond, Taft, and Wasco. In 2014, the library department started this program at just one location, and we're here to celebrate their outstanding growth 
just 10 years later to all 22 branches. We are so proud of the library and their continuous effort and commitment to help alleviate childhood hunger and support literacy right here in our community. To find out more and to get involved, visit kerncountylibrary.org. The library is also expanding their hours at some of their branches ahead of the start of summer. Beginning this week, our community can visit the Lamont, McFarland, and Button Willow branch libraries during their extended schedules. These increased services are thanks to funding from Measure K, Kern County's unincorporated public safety, vital services, and local control measure which has given our library the ability to provide additional materials, programs, technology, and staff to residents, reinforcing our county's commitment to prioritizing literacy and creative learning opportunities for all ages. For more information on library branch hours and other services, just visit kerncountylibrary.org. And before we go, we just want to remind you that you can stay connected to Kern County right from your phone by downloading the free My Kern app in the App Store or Google Play. Be sure to subscribe to Push Alerts for real-time information, report issues directly to our staff, or find popular topics with the click of a button. This tool is also a place where you can find current job openings, look up board meetings, request public records, pay your property taxes, report graffiti, register to vote, submit a film permit, and so much more. Learn more about MyKern by visiting our website, kerncounty.com. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. And be sure to follow us on social media to stay connected to all things Kern County. We'll see you right back here next time.